The, the use of a theme and variations is, it, it does have a, a slightly childlike quality. Um, you, you think of a sort of a theme and variations as a, as a, as a childlike approach. The simplicity of the theme and then gradually pouring on different layers of complexity onto the top of it. And I also think that, that this particular theme, because of the way it, it straddles the fourths and the fifths, it uses every single note available. Uh, but in a very uh, sort of simplistic pattern. So that also, in a sense, is, it's almost that, it's got that slightly nursery feel to it itself. The thing, I mean, basically, it just, it, it just uses these... ..like that, but in all sorts of permutations, rhythmic permutations, uh, and uh, sort of layering, uh, turning it upside down, every other possible combination. But you can hear instantly the, the, the simplicity of that. And also the way the keys work. So uh, the piece is made up, and this is part of the incredibly organized structure of the piece. Um, the piece is made up of a series of, of uh, eight short scenes in the first act, eight short scenes in the second act, and between them, Crucially, there are these orchestral interludes. It was a very, a, a very good way of leading the listener, leading the, the audience into the colour of and the style of the next scene. And so he uh, moves up the scale very gradually during the first act. And he goes from sort of from the bottom to the top. And this note, the A flat, is very much the, the one that ends the end of the first act is very much the ghost's uh, malign influence key, the A flat, which sort of illustrates that by the end of the first act, they very much have the upper hand. And in the second act, he goes all the way back down again to the, to the original key, except that in the very last um, scene, there's very much a conflict between A and A flat. So there's this, again, it's not clear who's actually won the battle. Yes, I mean, because, for instance, um, the, to, to use the Celesta phrase, um, the, 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 the quint music is very much based on and related to Mars's own Marlowe music, which is, is perhaps the, the clearest little melody that, that is associated with the boy throughout the piece. So there's instantly a link in, in there. And in fact, I mean, you could almost say that the, the, the themes of the whole piece are very much linked together between the, the different characters.